Tommy Murphy, and Steve, you especially appreciated that they decided to turn the ball over 13 times in the first half in, in your return. Yeah, was, well, welcome back, yeah. Coach. Yeah. Good coaching on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's been the focus the last two days. Is um, you know, can we can we repeat the formula? Um, the answer was no. We we did not repeat it. Um, tonight was a game based on talent. Um, we had uh, a lot of guys who played exceptionally well individually, and um, we played with great energy. But heading to Cleveland, um, we're going to have to be a lot smarter. We play that same game in Cleveland. There's no way we win. And you mentioned the adjustments. This really was a chess match kind of game, at least. There's no way we win. Look, he mentioned the adjustments. <laughs> this was this was a three-point game at the half. I'm trying to tell you. Even though we said don't get too excited, right? But he said they made some adjustments from game one. The Cavs did. Clearly, it wasn't the right thing, or it just wasn't enough. So, what are you supposed to do? And by the way, I almost want you to just talk about J.R. Smith for a second. That was your favorite guy on the Oh my goodness! You know, I thought he was the key for them last year, but right now he's averaging more fouls than points. I mean, how does that happen? You know, for them to have a chance, you need a spark plug. He's an X factor. You know, every team has those X factors. But his star-studded team, Golden State Warriors, I think Klay Thompson is an X factor. 